Okay. Now that describes what our topic today. <laughs> no strings attached. On the next episode of Feeling Sisters. First things first, that we, we, oh, we can talk about dating because this is going to be a very uh, interesting topic. We were thinking about it's like, like there's so many sides into dating. Um, and how it has evolved and how it has changed. Now, this is like this is not one of those stories where happily ever after, uh, happily ever after happens, right? Um, my story uh, is like I I got engaged to Tinder. Yes, this is one of those stories. Was like, oh my god, you know, and it, it was it was amazing. It was good and everything. But of course, the app can get you through. The app can get you there. Okay. This whole modern age of dating. Tune in every Sunday to Eat, Read, Love for new episodes. Hi, Leos. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. A um, few announcements. Make sure you ch catch up on Good Morning Tea. It's your uh, messages for Oracle, uh, you know, Oracle card, business, career, and finance. You know, it's like it's a quickie. Mm -hmm. So check it out. <laughs> quickie, really sad. Yes, it is. Um, also, all the way to the end, it's extended preview. Okay. Um, so you can follow me there after this and in between is extended too just in case you don't resonate with this one Maybe that's the video that's meant for you um, What else? Oh, and then you can forward now to the read if you want to because I'm just gonna discuss briefly about the webinar March 21 and 22 um, This is for people who wants to be an entrepreneur who has already done their um, 9 to 5 their 6 house meaning you've served Okay, you've put in the time and the effort Okay, this is for people who's trying to, you know, um, like for example, you're trying to establish your YouTube channel, your own business, your merchandise, all these things. Because as you guys can see, I mean, this channel is only two and a half years old. I believe so. Because this is what's, yeah. Um, or, yeah, two and a half or going to th third year. And it has grown so much and I want to share uh, as, as much as what I have learned. Okay. Um, building um, such a brand and uh, that's where I'm leading towards too. Um, so that the more of me, the more we're gonna be cute in the world. <laughs> no meaning. It's just like, why not share how you can be like this? You know, Sammy? If you, this is something that you vibe. Again, you don't have to, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, if you cannot invest yourself, this is not the webinar for you because I am an expensive son of a bee. Mm -hmm. And I'm be, I'll be straight honest. It's like, this is not for everyone. Yes? Okay, so don't feel that, oh, you have to. No, you don't have to because if you haven't have your savings and you cannot invest in yourself, you have to continue your 9 to 5. I did that. You understand me? Before you can go to your partnership, meaning business and all these uh, other things. You can't. You can't. If you can't afford it, you shouldn't attend it. No. You're not going to take a loan for it. You understand me? Okay, meaning you still need time. Okay? So let's see. What's going on for you guys? Leos. Okay. And again, these videos are not meant just, you know, it's like for, uh, how do you say this? If you feel like you are, your name is entitled, you gotta click off. It's not, you know, if your mom, parents, accepts you for being entitled, not this channel. Okay. Got it? There you go. Okay. So let's see what's going on. For the Leos. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ooh, spicy. Justice! Mm -hmm. So, what is this about? Um, justice is all about, um, how to say this, showing progress um, with regards to, you know, because there are situations in your life that you have to see the pro pros and cons. Um, normally, this is like a, how to say this, a check and balance. There, that's why you can progress. Um, let's just say, for example, in career, finances, uh, business, you will not know. Uh -huh. Someone's something's vibrating. Uh -huh. I don't know, but whatever. Maybe it's uh, whatever it is. <laughs> so maybe someone's trying to call you, get your attention. Uh -huh. So the check and balance. Um, let's just say, for example, in life, you wouldn't know what you gain without realizing what you have lost. You understand me? Okay, that's in life. In career and finances, you wouldn't know what you what you actually made as a profit or how much is your savings without basically calculating what you have expense and stuff stuff like that. Because this is a check and balance. What you put in the table, what did you get back? It's a merch. It's a merchandise. This is a scale of merchandise, right? It is not a weighing scale, okay? Because you have to put okay the coins and then you know it's like as a product. This is that's Libra. It's really a business. 
Okay, that's simple. Mm -hmm. That's business. Um, but here, of course, relationship, um, Venus is here. Okay. Um, oh, and if, if any webinars that you need, it's on the description box. Like Venus, we have it available. All those Saturn, Jupiter, it's in the description box also if you want to learn. It's already a file ready to be sent. Okay. So here it is. Um, um, having a justice, this is about doing what is right for you and both ends. Working things out. Um, divorce and separation, anything about the law. Okay. Let me see here. I feel that you are about to like either free yourself from someone or a situation right now. Um, that you uh, either if it's freeing, you're letting go, or this time it says like, okay, I want in, I want to work things out because this is diplomacy also. The highest you know, um, part of Venus would be to to be diplomat, okay, meeting each other in the middle. Okay, that's the first card. Okay, that's crazy intense then. Okay, let's see. You have your eight of wands, so you want to talk to someone. You want to message them, they want to see you. A lot of messages. I feel like it's you because look, there's a Leo. Maybe you're, maybe you're dealing with another Leo. Mm -hmm. um, someone wants to, again, uh, like try to get your attention very fast, very soon. Right? Eight of wands is a call to action, so meaning you know, this, is, you know, this is having someone as a wake-up call. If you want to work, work it out, you know, it's like, talk to me, message me, this is that energy, which is good. Which is very good because Eight of Wands is progress again, moving forward. You are not gonna stay where you're at because if it's stagnant, you're gonna basically just gonna, uh, it, you know, it's weighing you down. Okay, it's gonna weigh you down. Things that weigh you down in life, I mean, you gotta let go of it. Yeah, you got a Five of Wands. All right. So someone wants to message you, but they're having hard time because uh, the five of wands is conflict right so this conflict on their end other people's opinion you know it's like oh you shouldn't message that this this and that you know it's like you know the rule of the third date all these things this is what's causing the delay other people you know dipping their uh, opinion in a connection okay so this person uh, like you know it's like let's just say their sibling their family friends so they are the one making it um, difficult. Mm -hmm. So it's an external factor that you know that should have been you know that it could have come easy to you, but since there are other people involved, mm -hmm. now other people can be also suitors. Because remember, the six of ones gets a lot of attention. So this is can be uh -huh. like they're getting a lot of attention. Other people, five of ones, you got choices. You got an Ace of Pentacles. All right. So they have this. Okay. Like, let's just say very ideal Ace of Pentacles, really um, strong connection, relationship, partnership. Okay. That they've been holding back from giving towards you. Okay. Um, Eight of Wands with Ace of Pentacles, they can give it to you, but for some reason, they find it difficult. Because again, interference has happened. They want to be exclusive, interference. Okay. But they already messaged you. You already replied, but what's the delay? It's right here, okay? Let's see here. You got your Princess of Wands, okay. So I feel like they stepping back, hangman, and more delay, okay. So this there was movement, then all of a sudden it shifted, and now they're just relying on fate. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So, chances are you could have been triggered by this person. Like, you have your hopes up. Oh, it's finally going to work out Work out now. You got the you got a Justice card. Ooh, we're finally talking again. There's movement. And then all of a sudden, what happened? Five of Wands. What happened, son? What happened? This is what happened. Five of Wands. Something interfered. External. You wouldn't know about it not unless you're the one wearing their shoes. You got me. Can be work, can be business, can be anything. Okay. Now the Ace of Pentacles with the Princess of Wands, they had to walk away again from you, so they're not with you. Okay. I'm hearing the word Bazinga, but that's from a that's a show I forgot. Okay, Bazinga, Hangman with the Wheel of Fortune. For some reason, right now, this person is just saying it's like, well, you know what? If we're meant to be, we're meant to be. 
So they pull back their energy and now they're just putting their hands, you know, it's like the relationship in the hands of fate. Uh, so they're giving up. Kansiran had this energy. They're giving up and they're just let, waiting for the fated. You know, fated meaning it's like, well, you were meant to be, we were meant to be. You know, that's this person's energy. Okay. Let's see. You got the Princess of Pentacles, the Prince of Pentacles, so there's communication. There's a King of Pentacles, Ace to the King, so there's a 360, there's something turning around, Three of Cups. You got a King of Swords, okay, came same sex over there, and the Ace of Wands. All right, so follow me in the extended preview all the way at the end. I will read further, but if you just wanna to jump to the extended link, it's in the description box, but I'll be at the end. Catch you there. Bye, guys. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is your eight and nine, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What you just have seen is our crystal grid. I'll tell you more about that. Uh, um, it's something that I will be working with um, for people who likes to do crystal work, okay? So anyhow, let's begin. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Eight and nine for my Leos. We're also going to be using my very first deck here, which is Girl as a supplementary. Okay, let's begin. It's like I'm in a situation room over here. Let me just move this a little bit. Okay, here we go. Eight and nine for my Leos. What do you guys have for me? Let's see. Got here. Mm. Waiting for someone. This is a four of cups. Someone is... Um, um, okay, I hope you guys can see it. Oh, you won't be able to see it. It's too overexposed. I think so. Too bright. I'm not sure what's too bright. But it's a four of cups energy. I feel that... I mean, you know, let me try to put on the lights. One second, Leo's. Yeah, ooh, bright. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 okay. This is bright. <laughs> Let's turn it off, Leo. Okay. <laughs> okay, see, it's hard. Let me, you know what? I'm gonna bounce it off. Yeah. Welcome to the studio. Welcome to the studio, guys. How are you? <laughs> Four of Cups. Okay, oh, I think, oh, this better. Okay. Well, someone's gonna get, you know, someone's gonna let be, be let go today. I'm kidding. <laughs> Do indulge. There is this post about, uh, <laughs> it's just hilarious on YouTube. It's random videos. You, uh, Beyonce, like, her lights wasn't on time or something like that. And then she made it into the music. Like, well, someone's gonna get let go today. And into her music. <laughs> It's just hilarious, okay. I'm just telling a joke, it's early, okay. Stop being serious. Four of Cups energy, someone is waiting for you. You could probably be, you know, telling a lot of jokes with this person. Flirting can be um, something to be ne needing to be shed light on. You wanna address something to this person. Um, with this energy as a Four of Cups, I feel that, uh, let me see here, one, one, there is a cat. So I feel like it's you who's waiting for this person to message you back. Because this is a wonderful deck, that's why I want to show it to you guys. But it will never focus. Okay, and I'll probably be here... Um, how many days? Okay. It's just gonna get me frustrated. And it's so early. Okay. Let's see here. Because I'm not supposed to use a white deck, I have to use a dark deck. Um, three of Pentacles here. Let me see. Waiting for an offer, but someone is... Can be um, occupied. Someone here is showing that they have the muscle, meaning um, I'm not gonna do it. You know, uh, someone is. It's not stubborn. Like it's more of a control issue. It says like, um, not me, Sal. Not me. Someone is exercising their. Um, there you see now. One card is really useless. See, this is the person who's exercising the muscle. You know how the, the whole term right now is like, oh, someone is flexing? This is that person, okay? And this person is just waiting. It's just like, you know what? If you come to me, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting, you know? But the other person's like, mm, no, I wanna flex. I wanna show who's in control. I wanna show who's the boss, you know, this other person. There we go. Got here seven of cups, okay. Then if you wanna flex your muscle, then I'll entertain other people. <laughs> flex your muscle by yourself. How about that? Okay. See, this is the person now. Um, like, I'm open to my options. 
and if you're not gonna be the one to you know put the effort honey there's a lot of people <laughs> line them up boys is what you're gonna tell this person it's okay you flex there okay you flex whatever you want you want to be in control go do it mm -hmm. i'll explore other avenues over here it's just like you ain't the only fish you know that's why they invented plenty of fish <laughs> the flying next to the three of pentacles Nine of Pentacles. Okay, wow, this person is very, very confident that it's just like, no, I'm the only one. You may go around and start dating other people, but I'm Nine of Pentacles. When I come in, you're mine. This is how this person is. Very, um, you know, borderline narcissistic. Like Their ego is, um, how do you say, their ego, it's almost like, you know, twice more than what usually would be recommended by you know by the daily um you know nutrition okay <laughs> so this person has eaten too much of their ego they think that they're the best thing you know like they want to exercise strength control power over the other person other person is not even playing games but this person is a member of backstreet boys so you know just tell this person quit playing games with my heart okay because you ain't you know you're in a backstreet boy okay let me see here as you wait for this person seven of pentacles oh yeah you're really waiting huh <laughs> so <laughs> you have seven of pentacles still waiting and entertaining so you're actively waiting that's what i call when i coach so when they come they come let me see are they i feel like it's last minute before this person really shows up it's last time last, last time that this person will make a move so right now it's um it's a very difficult it's i think it's it's borderline games right now between the two of you here and there's only one player it's just this person okay. <laughs> they think they're a player they haven't seen a player at work over here they don't even know this person has so much okay. <laughs> and then you have here there you go temperance now they want to work it out mm -hmm. you're waiting now they want to work it out they don't know. Whoever this person is, they have no idea that they can literally entertain whoever they want. Okay? And the other person is just trying to show control to the situation, but this is them also submitting. Temperance, such energy can be a person far from you. Um, this person can probably ask you for out for a drink. You know, it's like, hey, you know, and you're waiting for this person to ask you out on a date. Then they will date you. I feel like this is just like, um, you know, kind of like a dating scene. And they're just, it's just like... Um, you know, the part where it's like, who texts first? Oh, should I text first? Should I do the double text? You know, very childlike. I mean, like, am I reading for, like, high school over here? Seems like it. Okay. Yes, 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 like, come on. It's like, if they text, they text. If you don't, please. Like, hi, yeah. Some people need to mature. We have no time for this. Okay. Let me see here. What the girl Oracle deck is saying. Let me see. Retreat and recovery. Yeah, that's the best thing that you should do with this person. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are getting this. Um, retreat and recover. Okay. Not unless my all my deck okay, is only one card. And it's called retreat and recover. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So this is a person who, if you see those lovely pumps, you know, those stilettos. Girl, she working it. She working it. You know, she worked it and now she knows that she has to, um, you know, relax. Just take it easy, you know. You know how that, you know, 9 to 5 and you finally can take off that shoes because you have to pretend that, yeah, I can still do it, Sal. I can still wear these pumps. And the moment you release that shoes, the moment that you let go of that, you know, 9-inch stilettos that has been, uh, you know, puncturing your uncles, you finally feel relaxed, at ease, and you don't have to even put effort. You probably put an effort to this person. And now it's just like, no, I don't want to put an effort anymore. I'll wait. When they're done flexing, I'll wait. How about that, Sal? Okay, yeah. Because once you once you just, you know, be patient with the Seven of Pentacles, there you go. My mantra, which I shared, they all come back. They always do. That's what I say. Okay. If you have that mantra, they just come back. So if you don't want the person to come back, they never come back. They will never come back. <laughs> okay. So that's the mantra that you should have to be. But this is this is like I'm just being patient, so I'm chill. I got other people here. I'm chill. Okay. 
So let's see how this person, because they're coming in confident and wants to work it out with you. Link down there in the description box for the Oracle deck and at the same time for the extended read. Okay. But the other person can be still uh, like scrutinizing it. It's like, all right, well, let me let me think about it. I'll figure it out. Okay. But they still have the hots for you. Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. But it's underneath the Wheel of Fortune. So for them, I'm just, just going to jump the gun. Mm -hmm. Nope. You got the Queen of Wands, which is you.